Before the video starts, I want to say that my Radical Red AI guide for 2.3a is obviously now outdated. And so with this series I plan on showcasing the still working Newslock strategies and the newer and better AI. Feel free to comment down below your favorite go-to strat. So for Camper Jeff, I lead with Gyarados and Azumarill. I know that the AI always fake out if it can so I pivot Berserker and Arbok. I then 2 hit KO the Mr. Mime. AI switches in Berserker so I pivot Gyarados and Donphan. Ambipom is now minus 3 and it's just very likely that the AI will switch and even if it doesn't switch, it's more free thanks to the minus def and the minus speed. AI goes for Gramble next so I pivot Lantern Volt Absorb in case it does go for my Gyarados and I finish off Berserker with Bad Tantrum. AI switches in Ambipom meaning it's going to fake out again so I simply go to Berserker and Azumarill to fake out the monkey and to finish off the dog. I didn't want to risk anything so I switch in Lantern and Donphan. By the way, if you want to know my team sets natures and moves etc, you can find them on my docs website. If you didn't know, you can actually skip the SS and double battles, I personally skip them as I could care less about optional fights, if soup makes them unskippable next patch then I'll make a video for it. I start the Brendan fight with Azumarill for the free play rough into Aqua Jet KO. AI predictably switches in Plusl so I pivot Lantern VA. We're no longer in double battles so the minus 2 exploit can actually be usable now, so I eerie impulse into flip turn. Septile comes out so I go for 100% cloister for the free OKO Ice Shard. AI goes for Plusle and so I just do the same strat. Thank you. 
AI goes for slaking so I pivot Gyarados. If you didn't know Truant ability makes slaking only use healing moves every other turn. So I go to Blaziken for free here and I detect. Then I finish the sloth off with low sweep. This fight is finished. For Tucker, I lead with Parasect for the Free Spore and I heal all the damage back up. I then switch into Dreadnought as I want to bait Dugtrio out. AI switches in Farfetch'd and so I go for the minus 2 exploit. Then I go for Rock Tomb here as it's really the safest move possible. AI goes for Pikachu so I switch into Parasect. I went for Spore here as Swana slash Farfetch'd resists all our moves and can OKO easily but the AI stayed so I just heal up. This fight is quite free, thanks to Battle Armor Berserker slash Dreadnaw along with Intimidate Mons. Lastly, we end the split with Surge. I lead the fight with Yash Berry Lantern so that AI always sets up. I click flip turn to Goto Illumise for Encore. I also have a Fairy type move and a Bug type move which makes the AI never go for Hitmonlee or Raichu. Important tip. 
the AI doesn't consider Mega Evolution's new typings and new abilities until it actually has Mega evolved in battle. I U turn to go to Azumarill for the free play rough OKO. Raichu comes out so I go to VA Lantern. Then I flip turn to Arbok for Sucker Punch. I intentionally made my Arbok minus defense nature so that AI would always see explosion OKO so I simply pivot battle armor Berserker. By the way, reckless ability now boosts explosion moves, I don't know by how much though. AI switches in Hitmonlee so I pivot Gyarados Intimidate and then I go to Azumarill for the free OKO. Rotom comes out so I pivot VA Lantern then I do the same Encore strat. Hope I was able to help you, thanks for watching and have a good day.